Hi, I'm Kevin, and today we're going to be taking a quick look, first impressions, sample loadout of the GORUCK shoulder bag. So this is a bag that we haven't seen in a while from GORUCK. Uh, years ago, they had a, uh, a nylon version of this bag. This one is now a wax canvas version. So looks like a heritage bag. Description on the website says it's not a heritage bag. Uh, more on that when we get to the inside because there's something I want to show you in there. All right, the bag itself is, is pretty beefy. I mean, it's bigger than I thought it would be for a 15 liter bag. I mean, for size reference purposes, this is a 26, hour, uh, uh, 26 liter GR1. And I mean, it's not too much smaller, although definitely a little bit smaller a little bit shorter but uh width wise it looks similar you know it's hard to say i don't have anything in the gr1 but this is actually bigger than i expected it to be i didn't take a close look at dimensions when i ordered it but i did it, you know given the 15 liter designation i thought it was going to be a little bit smaller and not that there's anything wrong with the size i actually think it's a great size uh, i just it was a little bit bigger than i expected it to be so taking a quick look at features, we've got one big drop-in pocket here that's kind of split in two with a little stitch here, but this is connected. So below that stitch, this is all actually open. So that's basically one big pocket, but the stitch there adds some pretty cool separation. So if you want to drop a cap one in there, for instance, you can keep that in there standing up. It's not going to float to the bottom and fall sideways. You can access it quick. So kind of cool, cap one fits in there pretty much perfect sticks up a little bit love like how the cap one fits in there um again you can drop a small ipad in there i haven't tested an 11 inch i know i don't think the 12 inch of fit ipad mini would definitely fit in there i'm pretty sure an 11 inch would fit as well but honestly i haven't tried it yet moving on to the side we've got a little bit of tactical going on with some pals webbing which is actually kind of cool i like the way it looks it's it's not overly done it's not too much Still maintains a very professional aesthetic, in my opinion, much more professional than, say, a backpack. And also a cool place to put a pen or a Benchmade bug out or, you know, anything else you want to loop through there. We've got the same pals on both sides, so three rows of two by pals webbing. The back, nothing on the back. Wax canvas, the bag is wax canvas throughout, except for the leather accents, obviously. Bottom is also wax canvas. We've got some very heavy duty D-rings on there with some, I mean, these are, this is heavy duty hardware. That's gonna last, that's, I mean, that's a solid piece of metal. That is extremely heavy duty hardware. Definitely capable of carrying some weight. So, nice wide shoulder strap, soft material, almost approaching seatbelt like material. Uh, but a little bit uh, rougher, I would say. And then a very nicely padded shoulder strap on there with uh, this moves and it will fit over the adjustment buckle. So depending on where you put that, this will slide over it. It looks like we've got 210 HD on the back of that. And then we've got wax canvas on the front. So very well done, nice strap, very comfortable. You've got a little bit of Go Ruck branding on there which is kind of cool. So, um, nice strap, very comfortable to carry so far. We've got it attached with some nylon loops in there. And the carry handles, thinner webbing, looks like the same width as the PALS webbing. Actually, it feels like the same material, very durable, and some leather accents on there, which are pretty cool. I think these are gonna age well, soften up a bit with use. Leather's a little stiff right out of the box. You got a little bit of padding in there. Very nice, very nice carry handles. And then the other leather accent is it came with the leather spearhead patch, which is on a loop field. So pretty cool for the exterior. We've got GORUCK's typical zipper pulls on there, some paracord with heat shrink tubing. Uh, and then on the top, you'll see there's access for two pockets. What I can tell you about the, the canvas itself is it's got a great feel to it. I really love the feel of this canvas. It's a it's little bit lighter weight than some of the other canvases I have out there. So, you know, for instance, I have a Duluth pack uh, tote I bought for my wife. That's 15 ounce canvas, 
a little bit more stiff. This has a more flexible feel to it, but still feels very thick and very durable. I just, I love this wax canvas. This is a great material and it feels great. This, if you haven't guessed also, is the dark oak colorway. When it comes to Gorux Heritage colorways, dark oak, by far my favorite. So I've got the dark oak here. I have a dark oak M23 inbound as well. So a matching uh, wax canvas M23. Had to order one of those two. This is gonna be a great capsule set for travel. So let's open this up and take a look inside. And we've got the rear zipper. I'm gonna go into that compartment first. Might be a little hard to see in here, but I've got my iPad Pro in there. Fits absolutely no problem, tons of space. You could fit a very large laptop in there. So this compartment is just extremely well padded. You've got a lot of padding on the outside right here. Great protection for laptop and gear. You've got also, and it's easier to see I think if I open this because when I first got it I thought there must be like a hidden pocket because there's so much room but no there's just I mean there's padding in there. It's probably about a half inch thick between this compartment and the main compartment. So pretty cool because if you did want to load this out with some weight heavier stuff um, you're not going to, I mean, you're, whatever you put in here in terms of electronics is going to be extremely well protected. And then we definitely have some padding on the bottom as well. So overall, great laptop protection. There's really nothing in this pocket except for one massive zipper pouch that is the entire length. Well, yeah, width, the entire width of this pocket and most of the length. So hard to see in there. You've got a red zipper pull at the top here. Pretty cool. And then on the bottom, there is a tag in there. Made in Vietnam, go rough. This is made in Vietnam, although the quality just seems superb. No issues. I've never had any issues with any of the made in Vietnam go rough gear. Um, I think it all has pretty much the same build quality, if not better, some may argue. I've heard some argue that they think the build quality of the Vietnamese products are better. Anywho, moving on to the main compartment. This is, it's deceptively large. I know this doesn't look that big in front of me, but you can put a lot of stuff in here. So just as a sample loadout, not necessarily how I would typically load out, but uh, I want to show you what I can put in here. I've got a 32 ounce water bottle standing up. So that fits no problem. Next to that, I've got my typical mini dop kit that fits in there. Ooh, I hope I didn't just break something. Uh, on top of that, I've got my EDC pouch. This is awesome pouch, garage built gear, Mightier Plus pouch with loop. Love this pouch, use it every single day. And then I just wanna show you that you could also fit a cap two in there, just like that. So that cap two will sit right on the bottom like that. You could stack two of these in there horizontally, no problem. So I got two on top of each other and then fit a third one. Do I have my other cap? I don't, I don't have a third one down here to put in there, but you could definitely fit a third one then vertically in there easily, no problem. So kind of just wanted to give you an idea of loadout capacity and uh, you can fit some stuff in this bag. So then in terms of what else is on the inside, we've got a couple zippered pockets. So we've got a large, zippered mesh pocket on the right side and then we've got a medium wax canvas pouch on the top right and then a very small um, mesh pouch on the bottom so that would probably be a good place to stash an air tag or a tracking device and I think kind of hard to see in there but I did this is what I want to show and I want to see if this will show up on the overhead camera but if we look at the label in there We've got a leather tag. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Go Ruck 15 liter shoulder bag, lifetime guarantee. And then in the bottom right corner, which is in a shadow right now, but it's, it's there, I promise, it says Heritage. So therein lies some of the confusion for me because on the website, this isn't branded as Heritage, it's branded as Wax Canvas. I wouldn't think of it as Heritage because it's Vietnam made instead of USA made. It doesn't have a leather bottom and most of the heritage stuff does have a leather bottom. Although I don't know what makes something heritage versus not heritage. Uh, the branding on the website again, doesn't mention heritage in the name. Tag on the inside said heritage, said heritage. So 
let me know what you think. Uh, in the comments below, I'd love to hear uh, thoughts on what heritage is versus not heritage. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do uh, a ton of research into that before the video. Maybe that's something I'll look into before I do the full review, but uh, what makes a bag heritage? Um, overall thoughts on this. This is probably, you know, outside the Kaiden 3.0 bag I picked up last year, the Bullet 3.0, I think this is probably the, the Go Ruck product I'm most excited about that I've received in a long time. Really excited to use this bag. I think the quality is fantastic. Love the feel of the wax canvas. Substantial size for loadout. This is definitely a primary bag, so I will likely carry this to and from work for a bit to test it out. I've got a work trip coming up in a week. I might bring it along as a secondary bag. Uh, overall, great look and feel to it. I will say, I think it would have been pretty cool if it had the leather bottom. And I know that would have jacked the price way up and I'd have been willing to pay for it because uh, I think the leather bottom would look really cool. So now there'd be, there might be a little bit of downside to that. I mean. I don't know, you're probably gonna add a little bit of weight and this is already a pretty heavy bag. I think it comes in, I'd have to check the specs, but I think this comes in empty at like four pounds, which is, is pretty heavy for a bag standalone, especially a 15 liter bag. But otherwise, really cool. Love the look, love the feel. Definitely looking forward to using this bag. You know, another main difference I would say between this and the heritage stuff is that everything, there's no, color accents on the zippers, right? Or on the webbing, because we see that on some of the other bags, right? I think the typical dark oak uh, has more of like a coyote color webbing and zippers, which looks kind of cool, but this is more, I don't know, I think it looks a little bit more professional when it all matches. And overall, I really like the look of this. Can't wait to see what the Wax Canvas M23 looks like. So I think at the time of filming, the dark oak is sold out. I think the field tan's still available and I think the uh, black is still available. But overall, I think field tan is a pretty cool color too. Can also complement uh, darker colors. You wanna do a contrasty thing. Maybe you got a black GR1 and you wanna do a field tan uh, shoulder bag. I think that would be kinda of cool. But let me know what you think in the comments of the shoulder bag from Go Ruck and full review coming soon. Thanks for watching.